Parallels is one of the leading virtual machines for Mac, and it's familiar to people who want to install Windows on a MacBook. Do you believe that some users actually prefer this version of Windows over the actual Windows computer? Why is that even possible when Apple doesn't allow a second OS on their Mac since the beginning of the M1 era? Today, we'll installing and test the Windows 11 performance on one of the latest MacBook Pro with Parallels 19. We'll discover whether this is the best way to run Windows on a Mac M series. This is Tommy, and let's get started. By far, Parallels is one of the easiest virtual machines to install on a Mac, as it doesn't require any knowledge about software or tech. Best thing is, everything is automated, so with just a few clicks, you can have a second OS on your computer. Now, to get started, all you have to do is click on the link in the description, which will lead you to this website. Then you can decide whether to try it out for free for 14 days or buy a license for a one-year subscription with 10% off using my exclusive code below in the comment section. Let's try the trial option by clicking and filling in your email address. Check Agree with the terms and conditions and hit Submit. Continue by click on Download Parallels to get the latest version for your Mac. After you've successfully downloaded it, double-click on the file and follow the steps. It's very easy and straightforward. The OS installation will take about 5 to 10 minutes to complete. And here we are. Windows 11 is fully installed on a MacBook, runs like a regular application. But as you can see, it still delivers the full Windows experience. Everything works well. Menus, settings, all of it looks and feels, just like original Windows. Plus, it's not just sleek, it's also really powerful software. When it comes to performance, Parallels 19 starts up almost instantly. Files, browsers, everything works smoothly. And since it's Windows, you can play games too. I test games like Battlefield 1 and 4, and they run well at medium settings, staying stable between 50 to 60 FPS. You can use a mouse or an Xbox or PlayStation controller for a better experience. Check out the description for a link to another video where I tested five AAA games on Parallels 19, so you can see the game performance yourself. By far, I think Parallels' best feature, which I love the most, is Coherence Mode. This mode allows you to work with Windows apps side by side with your Mac apps. All of the apps will display on your Mac desktop, and all you have to do to open them is double click just like usual. So, to activate this mode, select the blue icon from the left taskbar and it'll automatically activate coherence mode. If you want to switch back, you can do it whenever you want by clicking Parallels Desktop and exiting coherence mode. To run Windows on a Mac, there are a few methods. You could use Crossover, and I already have a video showing you how to install that too. But having experienced both, I still vote for Parallels as the best way to install Windows on a Mac with an M chip. It's easy to install, safe, and great for both work and games. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to apply the code in the comment section when you check out to get 10% off. Thank you all for watching. Please like and follow for more Mac contents.